Hi, so this video explains how to upgrade your RAM in the new MacBook Pro's Unibody. So the first thing you gotta do is always remember that you have to be static free. So try to at least uh, rub yourself off with some uh, metal, or at least have to make contact with the ground so you can get your static electricity out. Also, uh, make sure that you have your RAM uh, modules ready. And all you first have to do is um, use a screwdriver or a tool set that has a very small tip so you can actually take all the um, screws out of the back of your MacBook Pro. As you can see, I've taken all the screws out and you can see them all here laid out in the specific order so you can put them back in the specific order. Okay, and then we're gonna start and opening our uh, basically back modules. Module out from the back, you will see the guts of your MacBook Pro and you will need to locate basically your memory modules which you're going to be basically replacing. So you can see there that it has the two little uh, knobs right there and the other one is right here and those are going to actually push out and then the memory modules will slap it back out and we'll do those one by one and then take out the rest of the memory so we can replace it. So we're going to be taking the rest of the module out. So here's the last piece. So you got to be very careful with it. So you slide it out. You make sure that you put them in the right way so you can actually align them. So we're going to grab a new memory module here. Okay, and we're going to slide it in very, very easily. align the pins okay. Okay, so that's the first one that went in got the second module how big are these four gigs each so it's eight gigs total okay we're gonna do the rest so the last one it snaps into place. There you go, snaps into place, and you are ready to roll. Okay, so now we can turn the machine on just to make sure that it's recognizing, and then we can basically just save the old module here. So these are two bits each replaced by four. Before you plug in all the little things, I just want to make sure that at least it runs and the memory is recognized. So hopefully we'll do that now. There you go. Okay, so let's see if everything boots correctly and we can check that the RAM is installed successfully. First off, the machine wouldn't boot if the RAM was installed incorrectly, so yeah. you know at least some of the RAM is working. So now we have to check if both memory modules are active, so at least we know that one must have been active. Make sure everything loads. junk has to load. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see if it finds. And there you go. Memory, 8 gigs. DDR3. Recognized and ready to roll. So now, we are done with our upgrade and we can close it up.